We are live. Well, where's our Thursday night shift music? I know. I, I, I thought I had a couple more minutes. I'm sorry. Dang where's it. Welcome. Shift, baby. To boom, boom. Just we say. should just have Holly Raver just open us up every single time. She would totally do it. Yes, let's do that. We're All right. I know. We should. She would. She's, what? We, have you, we should have you do our open air every Thursday night shift. <laughs> By doing what? I don't know. Anything actually um because you're so <laughs> talented all right welcome everybody we are so glad y'all are here tonight's topic hot topic is going to be hostess flipping so i hope you're ready to take tons and tons and tons of notes but before we get started on our hot let's have our nightly question opener the question is where did you meet your last recruit mm. Want me to go? And since they haven't recruited anyone, I guess I'll start. <laughs> since my last recruit, I mean, they're all silent. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay. My last recruit came from a guest at my last 30 minute Facebook party live that I did. Ooh, I'll go next. My last okay. two, my last two were from Instagram. Okay, cool. My last one was uh, just a long time customer. Mm-hmm. Same here. My last several were longtime customers who finally took the, the plunge and joined us. So my last recruit joined eight days ago. And about eight years ago, we sat at a campground together around a pool. And I talked to her for hours about becoming a Sensi consultant. And so she kept bringing it up. And for over the last eight years, every time I see her, she says, oh, you know, someday I should do that. I should do that. So she randomly contacted me eight days ago. And she's already certified. So I am super excited about her. So that's just proof that you never give up because no might probably means not right now. This isn't a good time, but stay with them, stay patient and always continue to share the opportunity. That's awesome. So we're actually going to have Jen open us up tonight on our first part of this topic before we dive in a little bit more. Right, Jen? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So first of all, before I start, right under my little square, I see Carrie B. And I just have to give her a shout out because she is not now a star director and I'm so proud of her and excited for her. So Carrie, yay, I get to see your face and you see it to you. A shining star, no matter yeah. where you are. Carrie is one of the greatest people and I'm so excited. She so deserves this. Any words for us, Carrie? Any words of advice or <laughs> Yes. Words of like look. Just keep moving forward. Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> it's so, so true. Yeah. And you guys, and this, this is actually a perfect, this, can you guys hear me okay? Because I feel I'm hearing it. Yes. Okay, okay, you can hear me. So um, I did a call last Saturday for our group. So some of you have heard a little bit of what I'm going to say right now, but I'm not going to repeat all of it, obviously, but just a couple little pieces is that I want you guys to all know that there has never ever been a time in our lives like now when people want a side gig people want to do something that they can stay home and continue to make money people who want that safety of oh my gosh what if my office shuts down and can i do anything to make some extra money so this is the time to share the opportunity with people this is the time to grow your teams just remember that you're never bothering people when you talk to them about be joining sensi or becoming a sensi or doing sensi with you however you want to word it you're blessing them you are giving them the opportunity of a lifetime don't judge people don't assume that somebody doesn't want to do this some people join because they need to they need friends they want this they want community they want to be able to hang out on a zoom on Thursday nights so like I said, there are so many people that are looking for a way to work from home so it is now common to earn an extra paycheck. And this is kind of a new thing. I mean, it's been within the last few years that people have side gigs. People are doing something to make some extra money. A couple of statistics that I learned at Mastermind in 2018, or actually I learned it in 2019, that have just always stuck with me. And I pull these statistics out all the time, I know, but it's just amazing. Did you know that in 2018, in the year of 2018, Uber paid more 1099s than all direct sales companies together? 
Just think about that. Uber, which was a fairly new company in 2018, paid more. And look at how much our company has grown. Not all companies have grown like Sensi. We are so incredibly lucky. Another cool statistic about 2018 was that Airbnb paid $10 billion in commissions to women who owned Airbnb Bees, whatever they're called, Airbnbs, people who own them. So that was a really, another really, really cool statistic that I loved hearing. And you know, the thing that we have over, say Uber and Airbnb is a residual income. We can grow our business when we want to. You know, our work ethic literally can write our paycheck. Like if you want to take a month off and do absolutely nothing, well, that's fine. You can, and, and nothing's going to grow, but you can work really hard and you can grow. And, you know, in, an Airbnb person can't necessarily just go out and buy another building. It's a little bit harder. Or if you drive for Uber, you can't just, con you know, constantly drive 24 hours a day. It, that would be impossible, obviously. So this is just the gold standard. Sensi is literally the gold standard of the side gig. We have a consumable product that everybody wants. Yes, you can buy a knockoff, but people don't like it. So we're so lucky as far as just direct sales companies go. I mean, we don't have the competition that so many of the other companies have. I mean, you have companies that sell makeup. You have companies that sell um, health things. You have companies, you know, all of those, which are great, but they have a lot more competition than what we have. We are just so lucky. And by not offering this opportunity to everyone you come across, you're actually doing them a disservice. You really, really, really need to share this opportunity as often as you possibly can. Our business model is like no other. And I hope you guys all understand that. When as some of you are thinking, well, I know, but when I sold such for such and such, I made a 50% commission. And with Sensi, I'm only making 25 or 30% if I sell my 2000. But here's the thing, understand our compensation plan because those people who are really business minded are going to get it. They're gonna see, oh, it's not about your commission. It's about helping others build a successful business so that your business will grow and be become more successful. So that's where the people that you hear are able to leave their jobs, are able to have a, st a stable income, who have a great residual income. It's coming from building teams, which is why we're going to talk tonight about building your teams in a specific way we're going to kind of go into. So what's really important, and like I said, I didn't want to take a whole lot of time, but what's really, really important is that in order to, so we're talking about hostess flipping. You guys probably are thinking, what the heck, is, what is she talking about? This doesn't have anything to do with hostess flipping. Well, it really does because you can't flip hostesses if you don't have hostesses. And you're not gonna get hostesses if you're not meeting people, if you're not talking to people. And today, for some people, that's a little more difficult. If you don't have a big social media presence, that which most of us don't, obviously, let's be real. I mean, most of us don't have all these big, huge accounts on, on social media. We have to figure a way to meet people, sometimes from our homes. If we're in lockdown and you can't leave your house, where are you meeting people? And this is the big question. And this is kind of the question I sit down on the first of every month and I ask myself, okay, where am I going to meet people this month? Where, who am I going to meet? How am I going to meet people? Like, am I going to leave my house? Am I going to have to do it from my house? Am I going to have to text people? Am I going to use my Amy app? Which little secret, that recruit that I just told you about that I've been talking to for about eight years, I opened up my Amy app and I, and I reached out and she was one of those people that I hadn't talked to in a long time. I don't know if you guys have done that, but if, when you open, go use your Amy app. So I'm super excited that that Amy app really helped me. But so I decided on September 1st that I was going to use my Amy app. I hadn't used it for a couple of months to be perfectly honest. So I decided, okay, this, this month I'm really going to focus on Amy and that's where I'm going to meet people, have conversations with people, build relationships with people. You know, we don't want to be sales people, salespeople, a lot of times people will say to you, well, I'm not a salesperson. I couldn't do that. Well, I always say, thank goodness you're not a salesperson because that's not the kind of people that we're looking for, right? We don't like that. We don't like that icky feeling of trying to sell ice to, ice to Eskimos, I guess you would say. We are sharing an opportunity that is incredible. I firmly believe now that more than ever in my 12 years with Sensi, if I'm at Dunkin' Donuts or if I'm at Starbucks or wherever I am, when I see people, I'm like, boy, could she use this opportunity. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Like I truly look at everybody and I think she, Sensi could bless her in so many amazing ways. So one of the best ways to build your Sensi team after you've met your people. So, so okay, I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead, but because I don't want to take over the call at all. But if you're, you know, you're looking to meet new people, usually it's to get them to host a party, right? Because you want to help them earn lots of free and half price Sensi, right? That's kind of, I mean, we don't usually 
unless you're like an expert and you've done this forever, and I don't think hardly any of us would call it, I don't call myself an expert, but in order to, um, to, to recruit, I don't just walk, walk around talking to everybody about the opportunity. Oh, you should join Sensi. Oh, you should join Sensi. Oh, you should join my team. That would be a little bit icky. But what I do like to do is say, hey, let's do a Sensi party and get you some free and half price stuff. And then that's when you go into flipping your hostesses. So when our group of, of people, our friends that kind of that we're doing this call for you guys, we were talking about why don't more people flip parties? And I believe, and we all believe together that it's because they don't get it. They don't understand how to do it. They don't feel comfortable flipping people. Even me, like I have this friend, Carla Hunter. Some of you may know who she is. She's a super techie person. She knows all the like ins and outs and the rules and the yeses and the nos. And me, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants person. I don't remember all these things. So I know that in my my messages with her on Facebook are the instructions on how to flip a party. So I think that we, our goal tonight is to really help you guys understand and see why flipping parties is a great way to do it. Sometimes people will think, um, well, okay, so let me ask this question to one of our superstar directors on here. Why would I want to give you all of my commission? Why would I work hard and do a party and then hand it all over to you? Like, why would I ever want to do that? So I'll let somebody else take over here and, and answer that question. Why would we do that? Why would all these people want to work their buns off and then hand over all that commission to somebody else? Why would they ever want to do that? I'll answer. You want to answer? Perfect. Can y'all can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, just that way you can still start your new hostess off successfully, have immediate contacts for them to already have put in their business. So they're immediately starting off a success and contacts to follow up with. Absolutely. That's I'm going to say point. sales are for today. Bookings are for tomorrow. Recruits are income forever. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was basically going to say the same thing Heather did. Like it, you, you are one person. So Jen, I know you've shared this before. You know, when we first joined, we were doing 15, 20 parties a month that becomes quite exhausting. So you can only do so many parties. So building your team not only will change their lives, but it will increase uh, your paycheck by, and I hate to say that coming out wrong, doing less work. You can't do 30 parties every single month, all of the time, but sorry, we're gonna have a little dog war. <laughs> but uh, you know, by building your team, you're building that income that's going to, it's, it's a foundation, a business foundation for yourself. And then they build the foundation and it just keeps growing from there. Um, I also think that when you have $200 in sales, let's say, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't give this away. Two parts. I'm a firm believer in you reap what you sow. Two, Sales will always come. I don't care how much you're giving away, but eventually you will build that business up with the foundation like Jody's talking about to where you'll have such a strong customer base if you have good customer service. And eventually the sales will come to where your new norm does become something different where yes, a lot of us like to get the 2000, but the requirement to get paid on your downline is 500. So it's okay. And I know it's scary. Y'all are probably thinking, how in the world are you asking me to give this PRV away? It would feel like the end of the world. But it almost, for me personally, it's like when I get an individual order and I immediately start playing that game. Okay, I got to go find more people to order so I can have 200. It's almost a game in my brain. Like, okay, I've got 30 bucks. I'm going to go find 170. Who am I contacting? So when I give the 200 away and let's say I have 1800 PRV, it's now a challenge in myself of, okay, I got to go find more orders. I got to go find another hostess. Let me do this. It makes you work harder. It makes you push to the next level beyond the minimum, right? And we all know magic is beyond the minimum and that's where it's happening. So you have to do it a couple of times in order to feel it, experience it, get your new team member off the ground with a successful start, how Jamie was saying, exactly. So 
can can y'all hear me still? Sorry, I'm always worried. Um, uh, my husband always reminds me um, on a situation like this. He's like, you have experience. You know how to find new customers. You know how to follow up with your current customers. This is a great reminder to start your your new recruit off with that strong front because we can find more. We know we, we've been in the game. We know how it looks. And this is immediately showing them what that looks like. And let me add one thing here. You don't have to give the entire party to anybody just for the record. So we're saying this like that's, you know, the, the only way to do it. It's not. When I started with Sensi, my income was super important. Like the reason I started was because we needed money. And to give all of my parties away, because I was pretty much basically back then without knowing, and I was flipping almost all of my hostesses, not even knowing that that was a thing. But a lot of times I would um, give them, I would just, I would keep the party or sometimes I would split it with them. So back then it was $400 to have a, a qualify, I mean, a, to have free shipping or the, the highest host rewards. And I, if we hit say 400, I would say, I will take 200 and I'm going to give you 200 as a gift. I am going to gift you 200 PRV from your party and we will both work to get ours up to the 400. So that would be something that you could do now. If you, ha if you hit 500, you could keep 250 for yourself and gift. And that is the word that I always use because you are gifting it to someone. You are setting them up for success. You are giving them something to again, bless them and to help them get started. Or you could even just give them the host rewards and you can just, and you would never need to feel guilty about that because there are plenty of people in my past that I didn't give them their parties and I don't feel one bit bad about it because it just didn't work out that way or it, it wasn't the right thing to do at that time. So please don't feel like you have to give your entire parties away. Just wanted to add that. I was going to, um, I actually like that point because I know some of, I mean, us, all being in for all of us over 11, 12 years. Some of you, you know, one of the things we say is we're super confident at this point that we can find new customers. Mm -hmm. You guys being, you know, new or if you just started or if you don't feel confident, you have to feel confident first. You have to get to the place where one, you know, we have a great product. We have a great company. You will find customers. You, as long as you're do, practicing on follow-up, making that consistent, showing up on social media, being active in your VIP group, and not just about, hey, buy my stuff. You being excited about your products because that's what makes people gravitate to you. Like I've had customers on Instagram, Facebook, and like I never tried Sensi, but you're so excited about it all the time. I have to try it. So you have to believe that you will find new customers, but you have to stay. I mean, ask yourself who you follow, who you connect with. It's people that are excited and having fun and passionate. All of us that probably can agree, we never feel like, and even when I listen to all these guys, there's not one moment that I feel like they're trying to sell. They literally are just as excited as they were the first day they joined when that Sensi box gets to their door. And that's what people feel. So for some of you that are probably thinking, I always like to play devil advocate and think back of when I first started thinking, well, it's easy for you to get new customers. No, it's not easy. We just stay excited and, and truly let that kind of, flow to other people. And if you guys do that too, finding new customers and sharing it with people, it will come naturally to you too. Like when you get past the point of that, you don't have to sell, that you can just be excited, people will gravitate to you. And then it will be easy, I guess you can say, because all you want to do is talk about Sensi. And when you feel like it's like that Sensi bug, you just want to share past Sensi and try this. And oh my gosh, you got to do this with us because we generally are excited every day to work. Most of us, I mean, I can remember Jen saying not too long ago, she was on vacation. How many people say this? I just can't wait to get home and work. Like I can't wait to get home and run my business from a vacation, you guys. And that's generally how she acts every single day. That's why people want to buy from her. And I feel like we're all the same. And so if you can get selling out of your brain and do your parties just with excitement, like when a box comes, how excited you get, that's when you'll get all your customers. That's when your customer base will start growing and you won't have to be fearful anymore about flipping those parties. People pay attention to excitement, contagious um, attitude, tone, behaviors, and they also uh, pay attention to negative, piss poor behaviors, like it's either one or the other. They're not gonna pay attention to the blah. It's gotta be either extreme. People pay attention to either of that, right? Well, I'd rather be on this side of it than this side of it, right? And just they really wanna that. be with people that are like them and relatable. And I just had this yeah. conversation a little while ago with a couple of my girls tonight. Like, 
it's okay to make mistakes. Like I, I know going live is something we have been talking about, you know, beating it with a, you know, like a dead horse the last few months, but it's because we know what it can do for your business. And there are still so many consultants that are afraid to go live because they're afraid to make a mistake. They're afraid they don't know any, everything. But the people who are watching you guys are just like you. They are going to relate to you better if they know that they can do this job because they also don't have to be perfect and they can be fun and they can make mistakes. It's just like back in the day when we used to do home parties, we would tell our consultants, don't walk into that home party with 30 bags full of product because the first thing people are they're like, Homegirl's got a lot of stuff. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to have to bring all that. Make it look fun. Make it look easy. Make it look simple. Make it look like everyone can do it because honestly, everyone can do this. So you want to be able to draw people in and be very, very genuine and authentic to yourself and just be yourself. I know that's a little bit off topic of the whole flipping, but no. it kind of goes with the point of don't let fear keep you stuck where you are because you're not going to have parties and you're not going to be able to um, build a team because you're not going to know anybody because you're not having parties at all. All of these, the join, the host and the buy, they all are one. They all come in together at one point. And if we're not doing one, then the others won't follow. Absolutely. And so leading, coming from that, I have to say, how many people are you talking to every day about Sensi? And that's always my number one question to people. Well, nobody wants to be on my Sensi team or nobody wants to book a party with me. And so I'll say, well, how many people did you ask yesterday? And they'll say, well, I asked someone last month and I posted it on my Facebook wall. Oh, and I did an Instagram story that said, who wants to have a party? Like people, that's not how we did it. That's not, you know, those of us, I have asked so many people in 12 years to have a Scentsy party for me, guys. I have been told no more times than you can ever count. If you haven't read the book, go for no. If you're afraid of the word no, which is why a lot of people are afraid to ask, it's a fantastic book. There's actually a website too. It's gofornow.com. It's amazing. It teaches you to appreciate the word no. It almost challenges you to get no. So challenge yourself to go out and ask people about Scentsy, whether it's to buy hosters join. I usually tell people if, if they're nervous to start with hosting, you know, would you like to try to earn some free Sensi and try to get as many no's as you can pick a number for each day or for each week. I would at least go weekly. Cause you know, Sensi is one of those business businesses. You guys can totally work this part-time, but you can't work it sometimes. If you want to build a successful business, you need to work it, work it, just work it. You don't have to work 40 hours a week. You don't have to work 100 hours a week. You don't have to work, but you need to work an hour a day. Take one hour out of your day and commit it toward your business, doing things that are important. If you only have one hour, it shouldn't, honestly, in my opinion, it should not be making the world's cutest hostess packets or the world's cutest mailers. Like if you only have one hour a day to commit to your Sensi business, it should be out meeting people and trying to make connections and talking to people and offering them the chance to earn some free sensi. That's what I would be doing if I only had one hour a day. So I think that's a really big thing is how many people are you talking to? If you're having a hard time booking parties or you're having a hard time sponsoring people, ask yourself, what am I asking? And the cool thing is once you've done it, like 25 times, you've said it wrong at least 15 of the times and you learned, okay, that is why nobody's booking my parties because look at what I just did. Look what I said. I've done it a million times. Like I've said the wrong thing and I've learned that, okay, we don't say that. And I've also learned, say what you want to say and zip it because clearly I like to talk and I tend to go. Blah, 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 blah. So I've learned over the years to just stop. My husband's laughing at me because he's like, you're telling people. Anyway, so I'll stop at, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so true. You can have the cutest stuff, but if you're not meeting people, you don't have anybody to hand it out to, right? So when you, you've got people and hosts in order to flip them, right? So when we say the word flipping a host, A, you've got to have a qualifying party. Here in the United States, it's 200 PRV. At 500 PRV is when you qualify for free shipping to one address. We're going to get into the nuts and bolts a little bit of the logistics of how to actually do the flipping and we're going to just kind of hopefully keep this in a in a way where you guys understand and kind of follow along um the first thing i want to say because i hear it kind of going through the chat uh, as you're typing it currently due to covid if you have online orders attached to a party All passengers that were requesting their bags from flight 52 dallas
Hey, who's to say you can't be anywhere working this business also? Stephanie, you are awesome. I'm just going to give you a shout out real quick. Um, so during COVID, if there's any PWS orders attached to a party, you during the month, right, that you close the party, you have to call consultant support and they will have to manually move those PWS orders to the new consultant if you flip it, okay? It can't be done after commissions are ran. Just heads up about that. Um, it doesn't do it automatically. You've got to call and make sure you have every customer's order number that you want to move to the new consultant. And it's also helpful to have the new consultant's name and ID number also um, as well when you do that. So first part, let's, uh, we, I think we covered who, right? It's the host. Or every time you submit or have collected a minimum of 200 PRV, there is a host exclusive starter kit available. So there is one way to join. It's the $99 starter kit, the one in the catalog. Then there is a host exclusive starter kit, which is a $59 plus tax and shipping. Whoever you have as your hostess for the party or the person purchasing the $59 host exclusive kit must be the host of whatever party you are submitting. I'm gonna to try to say this so clearly so it doesn't confuse y'all. Um, so let's cover this really quick. Let's say Jody. Jody has been hosting forever and she does not want to join Cincy. She'd rather just be spoiled as a hostess and that's fine. Because if honestly, if they're not gonna do anything, I'd rather have them as a hostess. So Jen, on the other hand, has been my friend and buying for eight years and has finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna take the plunge. So I post on Facebook and say, or I follow up because she's on my list of people I'm still following up with. And I say, hey, I have a host exclusive starter kit available on this qualifying party. My host isn't gonna take it. I still think you'd be really great. Do you want it? I wanted to offer it to you first. Jen says, yes. Okay. Now I have to go in, take Jody off the party as my hostess, put Jen Audette as my hostess name because now she's the person that wants this kit. In the host credits, when you click it, I will type the word host exclusive. The kit will pop up. I've collected and put Jen's email in there. So as soon as I add the host exclusive kit to my host cart, it will send Jen Audette an email asking her, hey, you wanna be a Cincy consultant? Fill out the paperwork, done. That starter kit is shipped to Jen Audette. But then y'all are probably thinking, well, what are you doing with Jody's host rewards? How are you getting Jen Audette's payment? Well, I'm gonna calculate the $59 host exclusive starter kit plus tax and shipping, and I'm gonna get Jen Audette's credit card number. I'm gonna take Jody's real host stuff that she's wanting, and I'm gonna take that and put it in a cart in Jen Audette's name, right? Or create a, her name again, put it in the cart. Basically, Jen Audette's payment is gonna be paying for Jody's hostess stuff, and it just flops. Does everybody understand that? Is how you just kind of swap it, right? Okay, good. Dion, Jen Audette's paying $59 plus tax and shipping, and I'm moving Jody's hostess stuff to a shopping cart. Perfect, okay, good, thanks Callie. And so Jen's payment is technically paying for Jody's items that have moved down below, since I can only put the host exclusive kit in the hostess's cart using the host credit. And there's a question about if they live in different states, you just assign the shipping like you would yeah. a party. Yeah, so backup, I always get scared because the way our party system works, if anybody buys on your website, they pay shipping, it comes to their house, right? If anyone is within delivery of me where I can go porch deliver, I tell people, send me your order, let me input it for you so I can save you on shipping, okay? 
when I do that, I always get scared because I have every party come to me because I want to package, label, bag it up, sort it, do all the things. But I always get nervous. So here is my security and my backup system when I'm flipping a hostess like this. We know the kit's going to Jen, so I will select in there, ship to a one-time address, and I will put my first and last name and address in there just as a backup, because I'm afraid if I choose consultant, and once Jen signs up, does it go to her, does it not? So as a backup security blanket, I put one-time ship to Heather Gorsuch with my address. I don't know if it's doing anything, but it absolutely has worked, and I've had the party come to me. I'll sort it, the, the consultant still gets the kit. Um, are you still talking? No, I was waiting to let my ass jump in. Okay, so Jamie was just saying that she's never thought about, you know, asking the guests, but you know, if the host doesn't want that kit, there, you can certainly put it out into that part. Like you've got a Facebook group open, put it out there, say, hey, um, Jen doesn't want this host exclusive kit, but it's unlocked because of her party. Who here would like to buy this host exclusive kit for $59? Did we talk about how you can be less than 59? Did we go into that? Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Cause Cause that's wanna, I'm not good at explaining it, so I'm gonna let you explain it, but that might be a good segue here to letting them know so, that you can offer it to a guest and it can be less than 59. You can, so I will tell you this rule of thumb. If it's my real hostess that contacted her the work to get the sales, I will, and she does want to flip, I will give her the sales, I will give her all the bookings and let her have it. If it's someone that wants the kit and didn't do the work to get the orders, I will not give them those orders for that party. They can purchase the kit and plan their launch. If it's a real hostess that's flipping, they can, using the host exclusive starter kit, which is a much smaller kit, it's not the large $99. So you let them choose. I always present the $99 because really you get more and you've got a great business um, kit to start with. The more you earn in your party in host credit, that number is deducted off the $59. So if your, if your party is 600 PRV, well, more than that, over 500 is $75 in free. At a $500 party, you get 75 in free. So you would subtract $59 from the 75 in free. You would get your kit and still get the remaining in the host credit. You cannot use the host credit to get the $99 kit. However, Kelly, who's on here, we just did her party. She, hey, Kelly, Kelly, um, we, she was my last recruit. Actually, she's on here. She was a guest at Christian's party. She reached out to me and said, I want to join Cincy. She was already booking a party and did her party. And so what we did is we just ran her party as normal. She bought the $99 kit. When she, um, I put her as the hostess on her own party and said, yes, I want to flip. And it said, hey, this, this person has already joined Cincy. You're going to flip these orders to her. And we absolutely did that. So Yes, they can join and still maneuver and, and move that later. Yes. But we did do the, la the deadline. So I called Cincy on the last day of the month and said, I need to move these PWS orders over to Kelly because I wanted her to get credits, right? So especially during incentive period, you have to be very careful not using your credit card on other people's accounts because it's considered bonus buying. So especially during incentive period, I will screenshot when everybody was Venmoing me money, I screenshotted it because I have had to do this before where let's Kelly had, let's say she had $300 in orders. I will screenshot the proof that they paid and then I will order something if we missed that deadline to transfer those PWS orders where I would go place an order on her behalf with the exact dollar amount to the penny to prove these were really her orders, but we missed the deadline. So it does happen. There is some times where that happens, but there is a way to do it legally, proving that it was not you bonus buying. So that does happen also. Um, I just want to touch on uh, something that Tanya Wright just wrote. She says it sounds like a lie. It, it can, this explanation and talking about it, especially whether you're not seeing it or doing it can sound so 
much more complicated than the actual process is. I know right now listening to us go back and forth, it's a lot of info and it's switch this button and put this address. It's, it's really much, 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 much more simple than it sounds right now. So there's training videos up in the We're workstation. We're actually gonna watch one, Jody. Well, look at that, isn't that yeah. perfect? Hold on, but I, my internet is, is, maybe Jill has it up because my internet is. Keep talking, I'll pull it up. Okay. Uh, we actually were going to show you this because this is the video when anyone in um, has questions about it or doesn't know how to do it. This is the, I didn't even know this video existed until Jill told me. This is the video that we share with people so you can watch step by step on how to flip your hostess. And I literally have this link. Um, and I want to say this to you guys, like a lot of people will ask me about flipping one Every time we do a shift call, I learn something new, like about doing all this stuff. So one, you don't have to know everything. Almost all of us are like, what's that video again? How do we do this again? Every single time, every single time, every single time we do it, because a lot of times party flipping, all the situations are different, whether they're buying the $99 kit, making it their party, keeping the party, putting orders. There's a bazillion ways to do this. But this particular video, when people ask me, I send them a link to this. And I tell them, um, the reason I'm sending you this video is because you're looking at your workstation. You see what you're doing, pull up this video and your workstation side by side. It'll walk you through exactly how to do this. And um, it can, Deb Bowden is the narrator in it. She explains things better than anyone I've ever heard. She can explain it 10 times. You guys can see how difficult this is to explain stuff to you without being in a workstation and actually showing you. So this video explains it step by step. It's like two minutes long and I'm going to show it to you. Hold on. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, that's a yes. Thanks. Um, it just got easier to turn your host party into their launch party with the party flipping feature. There are two ways your host can join. Jill, can you turn the sound up a little bit? The traditional way by enrolling through your personal website, or they can use their host credits toward the purchase of a host exclusive starter kit. No matter how they choose to join, their party is eligible to be flipped. To do this, enter the party order as you normally would, and be careful to enter complete, accurate customer data. All guest information will be transferred into your host's contacts tab. Most importantly, the host's email address associated with the party must match the email address they use when they enroll. This is their unique identifier, ensuring they receive the correct party and PRV. If your host enrolls through your personal website, simply complete the order for their party. You will know they have successfully enrolled if you see a notification on the party page in your workstation. Select the option to flip this party. Note that the PRV eligible to flip may differ from the total PRV. We are not able to transfer PWS order information with the party flipping feature. Although this PRV cannot be flipped with the party, it does count toward host rewards. Once you confirm that you want to flip the party, you will receive a notification that the party has been successfully flipped to your host. The party will then be reflected on your new team member's workstation. If your host takes advantage of the earn a kit option, add the host exclusive starter kit to their order using their host credits. They will receive an email to complete their enrollment. This must be done prior to closing the party. Once you receive the notification that your host has a pending enrollment, continue to flip the party and close it. And that's it. Congratulations on enrolling your newest team member. Keep in mind, one, the host must enroll while the party is open. They cannot enroll before the party starts or after it closes. Two, their email address must match the address they gave you when you set up the party. Three, consultant support will no longer have the ability to flip parties manually. Please follow the correct process for flipping parties through your workstation. If you have any questions, please read the frequently asked questions in your workstation or contact consultant support. Okay, there's that. I hope that helped. I know watching it, it really is. And I think we just searched flip or flipping on flipping, the workstation. Flipping a party. Flipping a party. It pops right up on your workstation.
And can I, I just want to kind of back up what Jody said is it, this does sound a little confusing because there really are so many amazing features to flipping parties. But honestly, if you guys just start with having your hostesses offering them their party offering, you don't have to offer the PRV. Like I said, you can just offer instead of getting the free product, taking the $59 um, kit or, you know, just don't, don't overcomplicate it. As you learn, you'll learn all the cool features that come along with it. The problem is with us, we're so excited because we know that there are so many different things that you can use this for. But honestly, as Jody was saying, just try it. Just try to flip your hostess. Just say to your hostess, hey, this is what I say. You did all the work here. You invited the people. All I did was show them what I have. This is basically what a Sensi party is. Would you like to give it a try? Would you like to try doing Sensi with me? Keep it that simple. So don't let yourself get like, if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is way too much for me. That's not, we don't want you to feel that way. We just want you to try it because it's an amazing feature that they've added on. We've begged for this for <laughs> ever, ever and ever and ever. So trust me, it's a really great thing. Yeah. And, and I think too, everybody watching these training videos is in different places in their business. So like Jen said, if you're new or you're saying like, oh, this is overwhelming, in a nutshell, it basically is just having a fun party, like you probably have had your own, and either the, the Cincy consultant you did the party with either offered you the opportunity to join the team or they didn't. That's really all it is, and you're either giving them the party on a platter, wrapping it up with the bow, and saying, here you go. These people are already your family and friends. If they need more wax next month, more than likely they're going to come to you to buy it and not me because I don't have the relationship with them that you do. So here's your beautiful present. And it's just, that's basically all it is in a nutshell. In a nutshell. And um, there's another point I wanted to make is the sooner you do start doing that, the easier it does become. It's not so awkward. I know a lot of times we're like, I can't get anyone to join my team. Well, it's pretty weird asking people to join your team when they're coming to buy a six pack of bars. Oh, okay. So you want six Christmas cottage. Oh, you want to join my team? <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little, little crazy. I don't know that I would join someone's team buying a six pack of Christmas cottage. However, if I was a hostess and I had $700 in sales and three bookings and I was getting the free stuff and I could get a host kit for free and I got the sales and I got the bookings. That's a really nice present wrapped up in front of my eyes where you're probably not going to hear me say the word no. And it's not awkward at that point because you're offering a really nice gift. Whereas a six pack of Christmas cottage isn't really that great of a gift when you're trying to wrap it up with a really pretty bow. Well, and like Jen said, they, they really did all the work to get there, right? They, it was their friends, their family who was there. You just showed up and kind of showed them what, what you had to offer, but we're giving them what they earned in essence. And if they don't want it, offer it to a friend and they don't want it, offer it to somebody on your potential list. And, and then if all else fails, I mean, I guess you got to close out a party and keep your PRV. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Okay. So I'm going to say we have about 15 minutes. So I'm, I, we can keep talking about it and answering questions, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the chat really quick. If there's any specific questions that you have right now about hostess flipping, put them in there so we can make sure that if you're confused about anything that we get it addressed in front of all of the, everyone on the call, because if you have the question, someone else probably does too. And we want to make sure you don't leave here feeling confused because it is or can be a confusing subject if you've never done it before. Um, and we so just want to make sure we're helping you. Perfect. And while Heather is reading that, I just want to add one other little tidbit. This is something that I learned within the last year. And this is only for you, those of you who are kind of catching on. If you're completely confused, go like this right now. Blah, 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 blah. So for every single party you close, as long as you leave one penny left in hostess credit, you can offer the $59 kit 
to anybody out there. So if Heather is my hostess and she did a $500 party and gets $75 in free stuff, as long as I leave one penny behind, I can ask Jill if she would like to have the $59 kit. So I can add her in and she can take just and pay the full $59. Well, she would pay $49.99. I mean, sorry, what would that be? $50.99. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. $58.99. Wow. <laughs> My brain could not do that. $58.99. And so just so that you guys know, I offer every single time I close a party, I do offer. And, but I also wanted to make one other point and then I'm done, I promise. But of our two kits, we have our $99 kit and our $59 kit. And in my opinion, I personally like the $99 kit the most. I feel like it's gonna set you up the most for success. But if 99, you know, if $59 and $99 makes a difference on whether you, know, you can afford to join or not, take that $59 kit and run but I always offered that $99 kit first because I personally like that the best. Okay, I'm done. No, thanks, uh, Jen. All right, so we're gonna start, ladies, with Natalie's question. So yes, you can flip a party and the host rewards, the host credit is still intact. The only time your host rewards will dwindle or get smaller is if you're selecting the host exclusive starter kit, but you still have the remaining to use, yes. PWS orders. I know in the video it says it does not, but due to COVID-19 now until further notice, they will move PWS orders to the flipped hostess by calling consultant support, having the order numbers of each person that ordered that you want moved, have that ready, and have your new consultant that, that joined have her consultant ID number and name um, as well or his, whichever, just be prepared before you call. And it has to be within the month. Yes. Because if, if they were orders from August, they can't be moved now because of commission periods. So just know that if you're waiting until the last day of the month, just be aware that that might be a little tricky, you know, because if it moves over to the, the following day, they can't move those. Right. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. All right, Michelle asks, I have a customer who makes very large purchases almost monthly, like four to $500. I know she doesn't need a side gig, but I know she travels a lot. So how would I go about pitching her becoming a consultant, even just to get paid on her own orders? Those are my favorite people because exactly she that. clearly loves Sensi, and you are yeah. judging her. You have decided that she wouldn't love this. So, like I said earlier, so many people don't do this because they need the money. They like the camaraderie. They want to go to Switzerland or to Africa or one of these amazing trips we get to go on. So I personally would say, I feel guilty taking your money every month. Like, do you realize that if, with the amount that you spend, you can become a consultant and just support your habit and then maybe service your friends and family members that also love Sensi. And then of course, you're gonna start talking to her because she loves it about, why don't you just offer this opportunity to your cousin or to your friend or to your other people that are buying from you? And uh, one other, sorry, one other like little tiny point is I have three frontline superstar directors and I did not personally sponsor any of them. So it's from situations like this, people who loved Sensi, who asked somebody else, Jill is a perfect example. Um, my, a, a girl joined at one of my Sensi parties and Jill was her friend and Jill wanted it, this opportunity. So the girl that ended up joining under me was gone quickly and Jill became my frontline. So yes, I, she's like my favorite kind of person that I would just like pretty much beg her to join because I know she'd be amazing. And it and, might take- um, I'm actually- Oh, go ahead, Kelly. Oh, sorry. I was say, I'm actually stopped for a moment, but I have a very perfect example for this. So we have another company that we've had for years and years and years. And so we would go to fairs and shows and expos, right? And um, we ended up joining under our sponsor and a late, a, super, a fellow superstar director came to my mom and she said, wait, 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 I ordered for you with that other company first. Why didn't you join under me? And my mom said, well, you never asked me to, right? You never asked. Well, I, I thought you didn't, you already had a business clearly. Like, did you, you don't even, did you really even need another income? And so she, luckily for this individual, we still ended up in her downline and, and thousands of consultants later, right? So she still benefited, but that typically doesn't happen. And so if you don't offer the, offer, offer the opportunity, if they're going to take it, somebody will offer it at some point and who knows what you're missing out on. 
And another little piece of nugget from Kelly's story is that that consultant that they joined under put a host join brochure in the warmer. And that was the first thing that Becca read and decided to join because of a host join brochure that was in her warmer. Pretty amazing. I'm like sure. that woman has hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Logan, I'm pretty sure it was said three times, but I just want to triple check. They can join for $99 during the party and still flip even PWS orders right now because it's essentially like someone accidentally choosing the wrong consultant when buying and getting them to fix it, right? Um, Logan, two separate things, but I see what you're saying, but it's, it's allowed. So at any time your hostess can say, I want to join, they're going to pay the $99. We will flip the switch as you saw in the video and it'll say wait this person's already a consultant you want to flip this amount to this girl yes i do call move these pws orders over done she's got all the prv and ready to rock and roll as long as it's in the calendar month and make sure that you same email address is used right but they wait a minute up. wait 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 <laughs> see this is a perfect example of how we always are learning too you're saying that they can do the $99 kit and flip it? Yes. Since when? Since always. Always. What are you talking about? This is brand new information to me. Someone, Kelly Waters. I just joined Sensi today. This is the my, third time today I've been wrong. No, Kelly, that's what Kelly, my hostess, as she was hosting a party. Her party was not closed. She bought the $99 kit. Same email address. Same email address because she's the hostess. And when I was putting in her party, I switched to yes, I want to flip. Since he noticed it and said, wait, this person is already a consultant. So I gave her the orders. I called consultant support and moved the PWS orders also over to Kelly. Okay, so I just confused myself. Okay. <laughs> and probably 104 other people. Oh gosh. I apologize. They're not earning the $99 kit. They're not getting the $99. They're buying the $99. Buying it. The only kit you can. I got it. I was just. I was hearing it wrong. Is the $59 host exclusive kit, which is a small version mini baby kit. Yes. Right. We good. Yeah, like, I was reading it and processing it wrong, thinking you were giving her the $99 kit using host credits. And I'm like, wait, what? What? No, no, what? she's paying the nine. Kelly would just wanted the bigger kit. She's like, if I'm going big, I'm going, I'm, I'm going big, going home. I'm, I'm buying the big shebang and I'm going all in. That's what she did. And kept, kept her host. It wouldn't make sense to not, if people want the bigger kit for them to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a great idea. And then Heather wants to explain one more how to flip a party to a guest or customer. Um, Basically, if the host doesn't want it, you're offering the $59 host exclusive starter kit to anyone, like Jen said. You have to make sure that person, like in the video, is the hostess and the email address is in there. When you put host exclusive kit in the cart, it will email that person that wants the kit and confirm their enrollment. The customer, that is supposed to be the real hostess, right? That didn't want the kit. We're moving her items to retail and essentially the girl, Jen, who wants to be the consultant, her payment is gonna basically pay for the products that I just moved. And if this happens, Heather, you just let us know, we'll walk you through it. Um, there's current SSD, a customer a thousand years ago never offered it to her. That's, that's sad. If Maria, great question. This is not even addressed yet, you guys. What if she was a consultant before? Mm. Great question. Here's the deal. You have one starter kit in your entire lifetime that you can purchase. Once you've purchased a starter kit, you'll never get another opportunity to purchase a full $99 kit again. When you can always reinstate your account within the time frames of whenever you left and came back, there's rules. If you come back for free, there is a reinstatement kit, which is the same as the host exclusive kit they're trying to earn, just FYI. They can purchase that $59 reinstatement kit or just buy what they want out of the catalog and get PRV on it, okay? 
it's whatever you prefer, but you cannot buy a starter kit. If they try to log in their social, it'll say it won't take it. Usually when that happens, they've probably been a consultant before or bought a starter kit and did nothing and was a kidnapper. It won't process and let your enrollment go through. I'm loving all of these questions. It means that you guys are actually like really like I'm excited. I'm excited for you to try this. I'm trying to still. Here's start the thing. Off. You guys can't fail. Just try it. If every single person on this call tonight goes for it, like make your goal the month of September, flip your first party, which means if you only have three parties on your book and you were planning on that PRV, book another party and have a fourth party and have that be the party that you flip. So sometimes you have to be strategic so that you do get the commission. You do hit your 500 PRV, like so that you do get paid on your team. You collect bonuses, I should say on your team. So just try it. You will find that first of all, this is so much more fun with a team because even if you zoom and make samples together, or you guys know, like having a team, having a page where with just your people is so much fun. Sorry. No, and the last, uh, there's a last question. So if y'all want to, it's, so what if a past consultant hosts a party before the party closes, reinstates, can you flip the party to her like the $99 kit? So no, not the $99 kit. Can you flip a party to a consultant when they re-sign up? No, but you can buy that one, you can buy that $59 reinstatement kit, which is basically the same thing as the $59 kit, and you can purchase it yourself, but you cannot earn it. But can I won't. Flip but it won't. Oh. oh, the orders. Can you I flip the tried. orders to another consultant that reinstates? I don't, I don't know. know. You mean online orders, right? In that case, for me personally, I would tell them not to have anybody place their orders online. Me too. If, if it's somebody reinstating, they need to set their own party up, get reinstated, and go from there. Don't do it from your PWS and all that. That's but they could decide, you know, like, like they could be doing a party with you and then they decide, oh, this is really good. I want to reinstate. So I don't, I honestly don't know if you can flip those orders for them. That's something we're going to have to find out. I think it would be a manual move of orders because it won't let you flip because yeah. she's a reinstate. I don't know if support would do it. I don't know either. Good question. I just wouldn't go there, but you could try it. But I and the reinstatement kit for those of you that are asking about that won't show up in the consultant's workstation for 48 hours mm. in their, when they go to place an order. So they'd go to place their order and they type in reinstatement kit and it's, that's when it'll show up after 48 hours. Once they log into their workstation, as they're placing an order, they type in reinstatement kit and it'll show up there. But you do not earn PRV on a starter kit or a reinstatement kit. Right. So do your homework, go figure out what's in it and just go buy it. Put in a party <laughs> order so you can get paid on it and you get more. Yeah. In my honest opinion. I mean, listen, nobody's really using testers right now. We're cutting up bars because we don't want COVID, but just do that. Just buy bars and slice them up. I mean, you might as well get paid on what you're buying. Honestly, that's what I would do. Wait, will I receive an email once I'm reinstated? Yes. Immediately almost, or at least within an hour, you'll get the email. Yeah. So I would love, if there are no other questions, I would love to hear from some of you who are going to go for it, who are going to flip a party and kind of what your plan is. That would be kind of fun to hear. If anybody has like, is super excited and you're like, all right, I already have a plan. I already have somebody I'm interested in. And we'd love to hear your details. And no, you cannot flip a party after it closes. I have six parties scheduled for September and I have two potential that might flip. The other, the other four have already said no, but. So what do you do? What do you plan on doing with the four that said no? I am still going to highlight one, how much fun I'm having, how much fun this job is. And then when I speak to them privately, I'm going to remind them of how much their commission would have been on their party and the, the sales that they already have and, and everything. I'm still going to be very positive about it and keep that door open. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to try to avoid harassing them about it. Of course, sense. never want to harass, but I definitely <laughs> use Jody's advice of what she said that you've unlocked the $59 host exclusive starter kit on this party. Would anyone like to take advantage of it? Okay. Yep. Love it. 
Awesome. Congrats on your parties. Thanks. Another thing that I do on the first of every month is I sit down and I figure out, it's usually the last, the, the evening of the last night of the month is I decide why that next month is the best month ever to join Sensi. And there is always a reason. Even it, like there's literally like September is absolutely the best month ever to join Sensi. And I memorize my five reasons and four of them are usually the same. And then the fifth one could be that, you know, we've just went into the fall, whatever you want, but you need to have those in your head so that every time you have that conversation, because once you have that conversation a lot, it just comes out because it's the truth and you don't have to like stumble over what your five reasons are. So know why this is the best month ever to become a consultant. Always know that. I'm just reading through the chat. Go ahead. If anybody else wants to pop on and share. I'm just going to read something and I can't find it now. Do what? I was just going to read something and I can't find it now. Hold so on. I always set my goal every month at 2000 PRV. And in one of the trainings, I think it was 2 weeks ago, 2 or 3 weeks ago, you guys were talking about recruiting and I was always coming from a different company. I was trying to figure out why 500 PRV was kind of low to me compared to my other company. But then when you guys were talking about this and you had mentioned flipping the parties, I had a huge light bulb moment because I thought, you know what? If I hit 2000 PRV in a month and I get my 5%, I would be willing to give up that 5% to get one or two new recruits, flip those parties, come in at 1000 PRV and have two new recruits. So my goal every month is 2000 PRV because I want the 5%, but if I don't get it, I want those recruits. I want to flip those parties, give them those. I, I don't care at that point because now I have a, I have, I'm building my team and down the road, that's all going to come back to me tenfold. So that's, that's where my brain is right now. Got it. Love it. And it takes a while sometimes for that light bulb to go off for people. And it, once you get it, like you get it, like you're almost crazy not to do this. Like, share the opportunity. I used to often tell people like that, you know, we always, people will ask, you know, what's the minimum to stay active? And I was like, all right, I'm going to tell you the minimum for life extenuating circumstances where life hits and it's like 200 should never be like what we know we're going to have hobbyist people, right? I'm assuming the 100 people on this call aren't hobbyists. They want more. Um, but the 200 is like life changing, something drastic happens in your family. Like that's all you can do, but it's always 500 to get your leadership bonuses. And then like Jen, you said, or, or told me this recently, like a thousand should be a bad month. I mean, it's crazy because some of you are like, oh, I can't even imagine getting a thousand consistently. But if you're doing your follow-up and you're having these conversations, you guys, every time you bring a new VIP in or you're talking to someone new, that, that circle of customers that are actually buying gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger where, and you're talking about Sensi Club and whiff boxes and all of those things and flipping like this, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger to where you're watching your PRV go up and you've had less and less parties because people are just buying or you've had part or it's easy to say, Hey, let's do a personal shopping link or any of that. Like just having those conversations, more PRV means more customers to talk to about joining your team. And so like, I'd forget in my mind, 200, I'd forget the 500. Like, you know what I mean? Like Heather said, you always want to go for the 2000 or more for those instances where you can flip parties. Yep. So I have a story I wanted to share really quick. I know we're over a little bit, but it kind of reminded me as we're talking about this. And this story goes back to like 2009. That's how long ago this happened. I had met a girl who lived in my state, but she wasn't on my team and she wanted my help doing an event. So it was in my area. She came up to me, sit on my porch, we're talking. And like, now remember, we're still both kind of new at this whole Sensi thing and this whole direct sales thing. But I, based on this conversation, I knew that she and I had very, very different tracks of business we were gonna go the stickers on the back of our car would be your personal logo. And they used to say, buy, host, join. She did not understand what building a team would do for her financially. And she would scrape the join off of her car because she didn't want anybody to be her competition in her town. That is the complete wrong mindset to have in any business, any business, regardless if it's direct sales or not, the more people the more money that comes in, regardless if it's through joining or 
buying or hosting, there's revenues of, you know, the income's got to come from somewhere. Needless to say, because of that mentality that she didn't want to share the wealth, she didn't want the competition, she didn't last long. And it's a shame because I felt like she could have been a very, very good consultant, but she didn't have the, the mindset of business and sharing and growing her team. And I just, I remember looking at her on my porch going, the hell did she just say? Like, I was so flabbergasted. So never have that mindset. If, you know, we want you guys to push farther. We want you to get more PRV and have more hostess and do all those things. But if you can only get to that 500 because you flipped five people, that is not a bad thing. That is actually a really great thing. So I hope that all of you go out and you do what Jen said and you make it your goal this month to ask and flip and see how many you can do. And, you know, as we go through these, these next couple of weeks on Thursday night shift, I hope this chat is full of, Hey, I tried that. Hey, I did that. Hey, I got a new consultant. I have five Facebook parties and I've got two people that want to flip. That's our goal. We hope that all of you guys get a couple of nuggets out of, out of these and, and start building your teams. And you have to remember too, none of this happens unless you're meeting new people. None mm -hmm. of it happens unless you're meeting people. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this last story just because we shared it on our Tuesday night call and I think it's a very valid point to make when you're trying to talk opportunity with people. Uh, and I'm gonna re reference Kelly again. I, her sister um, joined another company and she loved Cincy, so she decided to join Cincy at the same time because she thought it'd be fun that they're both starting their new adventures together. That's the reason why she joined. We are so quick to pitch people or let them see Cincy through our eyes, which is okay, right, if it's exciting and fun, but you have to stop and ask, well, what makes you interested in Cincy? What, what makes you want to be a part of this family? Because what you joined for and what your vision of Cincy and what you're telling them how great it is doesn't mean squat until you know why they want it. And that's really an important factor is what Jen was saying. Ask the question and stop talking, right? Don't vomit of the mouth. Oh, it's $99 to join and Oh my gosh, you can earn tra traps and, and prizes and but, I mean, blah, 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 blah. you just don't want to do that. And it's hard. I was just going to add to something that I started doing probably in the last couple of years too is um, sometimes when people join and we see this from reinstatements, I get a ton of reinstatements. I'm sure a lot, Jen, a lot of people do too, that come back the second time around and they are killing it. Like, like they disappear and you don't hear from them because they're having guilt and issues kind of facing the fact that they bought this kit and either they didn't do anything with it or they didn't know what to do or they got overwhelmed or whatever the case may be. I always tell my people that join, like whether you're a customer or a team member, you'll always be one of my VIPs. So if you join my team, I'm going to take care of you, train you, do whatever. If something happens and life happens, you'll still be one of my amazing VIPs. You want to kind of leave that door open all the time so that if something doesn't work out, you just throw them back into your VIP group. And then every now and then you read, mention, hey, you can reinstate for free. People will come back if you leave that door open. When I wasn't doing that, I would see people get too embarrassed to come back to me because they failed in their eyes and they would jump to someone else. So no matter what, Always keep that door open for them to come back to your VIP group, be a customer. Nine times out of 10, a lot of them will reinstate and become amazing consultants. Sometimes for some people, it just takes that second time around to kind of go, oh, I've done this. I'm ready this time. Um, so never close that door and never kind of be silent. Meaning if you're silent, sometimes you make them feel like you're disappointed in them and they don't, you know what I mean? They have those issues. So always let them know that you be a VIP to you no matter what. Yeah, that's where um, Alyssa Hancock, a director in our group, she gets most of her team members is in her VIP group. So yeah, very, very true. All right, guys, well, we've gone over eight minutes, but we thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope and know that this was helpful because um, it is something that everyone should at least try. Um, get your feet wet, find those hostesses, get those opportunities to flip. Um, if you have suggestions for future upcoming Thursday night shifts, just send them into your superstar director and let us know. We'd love to know what you'd like to hear topics about. We like to try to keep them income producing so it creates results in your business as well. But let us know if there's something you um, want us to cover or if you have a burning question you want all of us to answer. That's what we open up with is that one question. So submit the questions to us. We're, we're coming up with our own questions right now. They're kind of probably boring for y'all. So if there's something you want us to all answer, 
submit your questions and your topics. Y'all have a great night. We love you guys. See you soon. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.